What's going on, Mike Newman here with Inside Natural Bodybuilding. We're getting ready, in fact, we already started the buying the show. Okay, the pro men are not yet. We're doing the amateurs first, then the pro men. That way all the ticket people are here and nobody misses the pros, okay? One pro came from Italy. Marco is here, so yeah, Marco. Yeah, Mr. Peak. Exactly. Came all the way from Italy for this show, huh? Yeah. We're drawing Italy, New Zealand, Australia, you name it. Guy, even Ryan Hold Doris. the wall here. Yeah. Must be time win Italy. Yeah, you're going to win big. I'd say best biceps in the show for damn sure. Now, not only are you a pro, you're also doing the men's physique, right? Yeah. What makes yeah. you want to do men's physique? How come men's physique instead of just only the pro men? Just to get more experience on stage? Yeah, I prefer men's physique because, uh, in, uh, in my opinion, men's physique is the future of, uh, of bodybuilding. Yeah. Because uh, in the, for example, in the high FBD, in the NPC, yeah. bodybuilder with the steroids, without steroids is impossible. Yeah. So the category in my physique is uh, for the athlete without right. steroids. Well, it also seems like a lot of the supplement companies and magazines, they want guys with that look to them. So a lot of the guys in men's physique are getting all the endorsements over the big, you know, freaks. Yeah. Wouldn't you say? Yeah, if you see masculine fitness, right. you can, uh, you can see uh, a big guy, but just a uh, model, uh, uh, physique, uh, yeah. because the people don't like a big class. No, not necessarily. Uh, not these days. Back in the 80s, maybe, not today. Okay. So, well, you look like you got that look going for you, because when you came out in men's physique, I mean, you look kind of muscular for what a lot of shows go for, but you got that look to you. You know, you look like I can see you in an ad. Do you have any sponsors yet? Do you have any sponsors? Yeah. You don't have a sponsor? Who's your sponsor now? I have a, a personal trainer gym. Okay. It's a gym, a famous gym in Italy. Sounds good. Well, you on Facebook or anything like that? Yeah. Okay, because uh, so people should look for you on Facebook if they're interested in having you and their ads for their supplement companies then. Yeah. Okay, because if you see this guy in a pair of board shorts, he'd be the kind of guy you'd want in your ad. So go to a couple posters for these guys, Marco. Hit some posters for the. Uh, yeah, there you go. Those biceps. Can't go wrong with that. Put him on Facebook. And look how he does. He's also a free. He did the amateur portion, men's physique, which he's going to do very good in that. But he's also a pro bodybuilder. And you're up against the deepest lineup of pros I've seen so far this year. We're getting to the point in the year where all the top pro shows are starting to come out. But this is by far the best pro show I've been to so far. You got Ryan Doris, Michael Waddington's in this show, Justin Bergera. How do you think you're going to do against guys like that tonight? So, big guys. Yeah. Big preparation, and this is the future of bodybuilding, clear bodybuilding with a big guy with right. health. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because health is the first in the, in the sport, the first thing. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you, when you talk about the future of bodybuilding, there's a teenager watching us right now. His name is Devion Hill. Let's get a cameo appearance. Devion Hill, he's actually expediting this show. His dad's one of the judges, and he's expediting with us. So he's looked for him in the future, too. He's doing a show in the not too coming future. He'll be in one of these videos sometime soon. But I got Marco here. I'm Mike. You're listening to Bodybuilding, and we're gone. I got to check this show out. I'll see you next time.